today is a special day. It's an incredible day because we're bringing in new technology. That's right, new technology. It is our first Swiss machine. And I'm super excited about this bad boy because we're gonna teach you guys every aspect of Swiss machining. This is gonna be incredible. Oh man, oh man, I wanna introduce this guy right here. What's hey. up, Donnie? What's up, Titan? Saw you through the window, brother. <laughs> Boom, welcome to Texas. If you haven't guessed, he's the newest addition to the greatest team in manufacturing, and Donnie is gonna oversee our Swiss department. Now, Donnie, when is the first time that you actually ran a Swiss machine? Uh, I started my dad's shop when I was 12, and uh, yeah, he put me in a corner to burn parts, and I got bored of it, so he just told me to follow him around. I remember the first time I saw a Swiss machine, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Just the way it can quickly go from tool to tool, doing different milling, different turning, no indexing, super quick, and uh, yeah, That's loved awesome. it ever since. So that was when you were 12. When did you start setting up the Swiss machines? Uh, when I was 13. Summer 13 years of, uh, old. Seventh grade, I'd say. That's awesome, man. <laughs> I love it. Family shop, learned on the floor, and now teaching the world all about the technology, and we're gonna teach them everything. Everything, man. This machine has a lot of options, a lot of cool things to go over, so Super it's gonna good. be a lot of cool content coming. A lot of people are like, hey, how come Tornos? And then I see in the comments, people call Tornos the original OG, baby, because these guys, they're what, 140 years old. They were there from the very beginning, and a lot of other people actually copied their technology to actually create these companies. So we went with somebody who had sound technology, who was the originators. I just love having this machine on the floor. Yeah. Boom. Excited, man. Super good, man. Whew. We're gonna get it off the pallet, we're gonna get it into the building, and then we're gonna run power and air and get all the lubrications and oil and everything in there, and we're gonna start going. Woo! Texas, baby. Donnie's in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put the front right here, like two feet off that line right there. Now, if you actually look at the blue tape on the floor, that was put there for this machine so we can find the location of the machine. You gotta be able to like make decisions on the fly. So when I actually looked at it, we had it over here because I still wanted to have our, our weight set. I didn't want things to be crowded, but looking at the back of the machine and seeing the machine in person here. I saw it at IMTS, but seeing it here, I really realized that I didn't need that much space back here. So I made the quick decision to just move it over a few feet, which gives us greater distance and makes it so we're not crunched over here. Since we have another machine showing up on Friday, that's gonna go right there. Oh man, oh man, check this out. I just got back from uh, lunch and there's Adrian up there. What's up, Adrian? Hey, how you doing? Oh, running electrical already. Uh, machine is on the floor. And uh, I got Donnie, hey, hey. I got Daniel. Boom. Oh, the technician from Brazil for Tornos that came to help us out, brother. Boom. Boom, <laughs> love it. Now. Sorry, I'm gonna like interrupt real quick. Oh, a couple cool things, like one, we're gonna have like a big old bar feeder, 12 foot right here. Another machine, as I said, over there. But uh, let's just take a look at this thing. So how cool is this? Ooh, you can like pull it. <laughs> Ooh, you can pull this thing out, boom. And uh, Donnie, yep. you guys are just in there taking a look and uh, you got the glass that goes up. Uh, can you, real quick, just show us what's going on inside here? I love the access right there. So in here is the main spindle. This is where your collet goes, and this is where the bar runs through to make your parts. So this right here is your Z-axis, and where this is different than the machines you're used to seeing is your material in this machine is what moves into the tools. As opposed to other machines, you know, where you lock the material and you cut it, this machine will slowly bring the bar forward, making part after part, one after another. Awesome. And I love this door. Hey, Donnie, let me do it. Let me do yeah. it, Donnie. <laughs> I'm like a little kid, but I love this door. Check out the door. I love the access. And you actually, like, it just pulls up, pulls up, and it moves in. 
So smooth, right? You guys see that? Like, oh, so nice. Boom. Donnie comes from Michigan and he shows up to run the Tornos, right? But look at the shoes, man. What's up with the shoes, Donnie? <laughs> Donnie, what's up with the shoes, Donnie? Hey, man, it was a proud day in my career when I could, when I could finally gotta, get nice shoes to work, you know? <laughs> we gotta do something about that. So, uh, watch this, watch this, watch this. Okay, one, two, three, boom! Oh, man, oh. check it out. <laughs> oh, look at that, look at that. The boys got boots now. Oh. So get back to business, okay. So I love, I love like just the access. You can just like get all inside here. I'm a big guy, I can get all inside here. Super cool. Literally Donnie was just telling me like about all these options that he's never seen before. They're just really cool. And uh, you wanna just do a little rundown real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely a little, little attention to detail that you really can see in this machine. Like small things like this, right? Just seems like a coolant nozzle, but in reality, most Swiss machines don't clean off their way covers. So if you were to run this, it would pack full of chips and then eventually it would jam up and then you'd have to replace this. Where Tornos does little things just like for the way cover, right? Or, and this is a big one for me right here. This thing. Now that may seem very minute, but I can't tell you how many times I've ran a Swiss machine. You're making a round part, it ejects it, it spins in the conveyor, you're sitting here, it ejects another one, it spins in the conveyor, ejects another one, four parts later you're sitting here losing your mind. It'll drive you nuts it's on like other machines. It's like they listen to somebody, right? <laughs> yeah. The accessibility is awesome on this machine, the fact that I can just open this door up and have this huge workspace. I'm really excited to definitely rip all these things out and interchange them. We've got a different drill post going here. We have all sorts of different attachments going there. Uh, polygon attachment different live tools, all that stuff. Can you show us like where the tools like stack up, like all the different types of tools that you can actually do? These are your turning tools. So you have five turning tools here, four live tools here. You'll notice that there are, the, the, some of these live tools are staggered, right? Well, this one right here is actually for a big giant slitting saw. Another beautiful thing about this machine. They put ER20 holders in there. That is awesome. A bigger, beefier live tool will give you a way better cut and all machining processes pretty much. So it's nice not to have your typical ER16 holder and have a bigger holder for bigger cuts because we're at Titans of CNC, you know we're gonna be oh. taking bigger cuts, so. Oh man. That's pretty cool. On a Swiss machine. On a Swiss machine. Ooh, baby. So where this is gonna differ from a conventional lathe is that the material is actually gonna feed through the guy bushing here. The tools aren't gonna feed into it, they're simply gonna park. And when they park in place, the Z1 axis will actually feed the entire bar into the material and do all the operations right here. What's nice about this is it gives you a way more rigid style of turning where you know, you're only an eighth of an inch away from your spindle all the time. So if you have to turn something six inches long, you can actually park your tool right in front of the spindle and feed it out. So it's not hard on this machine at all to make really, really long parts. That is a huge advantage of Swiss machining compared to conventional lathe machining. One thing I'm really looking forward to showing you guys is making a really long screw on this machine. So you can do a threading cycle into a turning cycle into a threading cycle. And what is amazing about a machine like this is you can actually pick up into the thread perfectly without having blend marks and make a screw as long as you can think of really it's gonna be crazy so here's a counter spindle I'm gonna actually pick up the piece off the guide bushing and spit it out into here when it's done being machined you have several stations over here for the sub spindle you have these er16 collets and multiple different modular attachments that we could put over here you have 90 degree attachments you have straightforward attachments live static you name it we could put it over there and make it happen um, once it's done there's gonna be a knockout when it's done machining on the sub spindle this pneumatic cylinder is actually gonna knock the part out which they won't get stuck because of this flap that I love a lot. That's pretty much the whole process. Boom, Donnie, Donnie in the house, man. Boom, love baby. it. <laughs> Woo, he's first day on camera. He's already smooth, baby. And uh, I'm just gonna walk around really quick. Just take a look at it. Love it. And then we're gonna finish running electrical. You can see just standing here, they already got all the wire up there. Now they're gonna attach it tomorrow morning. It will be operational. Then we're gonna take the GT15 cutting oil, actually put it into the machine, and we're gonna be ready to rock and roll. And uh, boom, that's all we got for you today. Stay tuned because in the next video, we're gonna actually go over the controls. We're gonna actually move everything around. We're gonna show you intimate details about this machine that we were not able to show you today. And we're gonna actually show you a program running. We're gonna show you how to do it. Future videos, we're gonna teach you how to set up 
up the machine, how to program the machine, and how to run the machine. All different types of materials, all different types of parts coming to you guys. Free education. Boom. Boom.